before you take the plunge and move to New Jersey? Here are five things to know so that you fit in like you're a New Jerseyan. So let's get started. On uh, number one are the blue laws. What in the world are blue laws? Well, first of all, since 1985, Bergen County is the only county in the state to remain with blue law restrictions. And this is the restriction of sale of certain goods on Sundays. Now this is forces all the department stores, the malls and retail stores to close for the day. Everything from clothing to furniture to appliances are off limits. Now this law has existed for more than half a century and has been voted to keep it numerous times through public referendums and supported by mass majority of residents due to the fact that they want to give most retail workers a guaranteed day of rest and to ensure a quiet and peaceful traffic free day on Sundays. Now, however, pharmacists, grocery stores, restaurants, movie theaters, gyms, and a few other things stay open. Some towns such as Paramus have their own even more restrictive blue laws. Number two, you will not be able to pump your own gas. Since 1949, it has been illegal to pump your own gas in New Jersey. This law is to prevent fire hazards at the gas pump. Now, while it takes a little bit of getting used to, you will be thankful that you do not have to pump your own gas during the cold winter months when the temperatures are sub-zero and the snow is falling from the sky, or even heavy rain, or even hot weather. Now there are talks right now with legislature and the New Jersey Gas and Administration about adding self-serve pumps to gas station, which will allow for cheaper gas rates. So stay tuned for any updates on this topic. Number three, you can bring your own bottle. There are many, many restaurants here in New Jersey that do not have a liquor license. Now these restaurants are considered a BYOB restaurant. And the acronym for that is bring your own bottle. And that allows customers to bring their own beer or wine as long as it's allowed by the municipal ordinances. And these restaurants will provide drinking glasses for you, wine buckets, so don't worry. Now there are other restaurants that do have liquor licenses and they might allow for the BYOB. And just know they might charge you a corking fee. Number four, no left turns. For first timers in the Garden State, New Jersey jug handles can be difficult to get the hang of. More times than not, when you get over to the left lane, you will see a no left turn sign. Jug handles are ramps that allow you to swoop around and make a left turn. Now, once you understand the system, it is useful. However, you might drive an additional mile or two. So just be careful because you might have missed that opportunity to make that left turn. Number five is the state's divide geographically. Now, New Jersey is divided into three different regions, each with its own culture and geography. These regions are North Jersey, Central Jersey, and South Jersey. Now, although the locals swear that only North and South Jersey exist, and that Central Jersey only exists on paper, so depending on what map you're reading, North Jersey is defined anything north of exit 13 on the New Jersey Turnpike, and that's considered to be part of the New York metropolitan area. Central Jersey is divided by the intersection of the two busiest highways in the state, namely the New Jersey Turnpike and the Garden State Parkway. South Jersey may be defined geographically as the area below I-195, and this is considered to be part of the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Now, if you are unsure what part of New Jersey you are speaking at, please do me a favor. Stick to either talking about North or South Jersey, just to play it safe. I'm Christine, your Bergen County Realtor. If you wanna learn more about the cost of living in Bergen County, watch this next video here. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next Thursday when I post a new video.